I am going to be killed down here. Is everyone just going to bite me? What is happening? What are you doing, devil child? Can we all be nice, please? I'm going to be eaten by Safi during this, so enjoy. Hello, Stop! <laughs> she doesn't really bite, but she bites faces. So she's angry. And this one's just going to take up the entire camera because she's really jealous right now. So, <laughs> this is happening. Okay. Um, <laughs> stop. The two of you stop. They're going to bicker as well, by the way. So, today it is literally like 11pm and I'm attempting to film the Q&A that you have all been asking for for like two months now. And I'm really sorry that I haven't filmed it sooner. But um, it's been kind of crazy the last few months and all that. We had building works going on at the house, so during the day it's just been way too noisy to film anything. It's utterly horrendous. We're all like about to move out and live in a cardboard box in the street. Like it's bad. But um, <laughs> um, but that's why I'm filming this in the middle of the night with these two devils trying to annoy me. She's, yeah, Scotty likes to put her head on top of me, so this is this is what you're getting today. This is the quality entertainment you get when you come to my chat. <gasps> Stop! Yeah, she bites faces, so this is going to be really fun. Of course, Scotty's standing here. She's getting really territorial. You're the good one, aren't you? Oh my god, I'm actually going to get eaten. Scotty, can you move your butt a little bit? She's going to eat me. Stop. I'm gonna try and scratch her to keep her entertained. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so hang on, let me get my phone out and we'll answer a few questions that you've asked, or I'll try to anyway, because I'm gonna get eaten. Okay, let's start. Scotty's gonna stand in front of me the entire time, just to let you know. Um, I'm lucky she's not even climbing on me right now, to be honest. Okay, so mini strides with a Z. She asked me, will I ever teach them liberty or tricks? Um, yes, actually, they already... Stop! <laughs> Scotty knows the trick already. She plays the piano and she actually climbs onto a pedestal as well. But that's just more training than a trick, that one. Um, they've started pivoting work, bits like that. My goal eventually is to do... Stop, I'm warning you, Mare. This is why I don't like Mares. Give me a stallion any day. Um, yeah, hopefully one day when they grow up and start acting like this, then yeah i will do liberty with them especially scotty she's absolutely super and um, we have a really good bond so she follows me around already and i'll introduce a little i'll put a little clip in here of her doing a kind of bit of liberty with her trotting with me off the lead and then oh my god stop and then i was also asked by mini strides are you going to be teaching them performance such as jumping driving etc yes 100 percent. so with scotty i really want to drive her she's a little bit chunkier than Safi. So she will suit it really well. I'm, oh my God, hate, she's so grumpy lately. She used to be so sweet. I don't know what's happened this week. I think she's just really angry. Um, but yeah, Scotty will definitely drive. This one, I'm not sure yet. It depends how she matures because she's a little bit more refined. So I might keep her for the enhanced showing stuff. And then Totland here, the devil one, will do um, driving for sure. Absolutely for sure. And then also I was asked by a few people actually, what got you into minis? um this is a really kind of crazy story but um i am disabled stop if you've seen my videos you'll know that i am disabled and i have well <laughs> i haven't ridden for a year i used to i've ridden like all my life i show jumped invented all that um and i've had a big horse called super day for a long time now about five years i produced him myself and i had to stop riding him because my disability got really really bad um, and I was in a lot of pain so I stopped riding him last year and since then I think I lasted about a week without riding him and I got so so bored of not having a horse like you know when you had your entire life revolve around horses and then suddenly you don't have one at all to spend your time with stop then it's hard so a weekend I've always been obsessed with uh, American miniatures specifically I wouldn't go out and like buy a Shetland like they just don't do it for I am going to die like yeah, the Shetlands don't do it for me. They're adorable, but like to own one, mm, I'm into my skinny minis. And <laughs> so I've been obsessed with them, seeing them on Facebook when they go viral and all that. But I wasn't really sure like how much there is it to do with them in the UK. 
but I did my research and I made a joke and I said, yeah, let's get some minis in the garden, ha ha ha. And I don't know why it kind of just manifested and happened. So it was a really, really last minute decision. And now this is my life. This is what I do at midnight. So this is fun, but I do not regret it at all. I absolutely adore them and they are so, you kind of learn a lot. I've always had ridden horses. And I thought, oh, if you buy a mini, what the hell do you do with them when you're not riding? Well, you do this, <laughs> you get eaten by them 24 seven, don't you? This one's cute though, she likes hugs. Stop! You two are horrible. Don't do it, because I'm in the middle of this. Um, Alyssa Angel 23 asked me, what is your favorite treat brand for your minis? Um, they don't get a lot of treats because they're very young, they're only one, so I try not to overfeed them sugary things. So what they do love as a treat is Fruities, and it's by Cavalor, I think. They're like a German brand, I'm pretty sure. And I got when I took them into a tax shop when Safi was a baby and the tax shop gave me a free bag of um oh, they're gonna bicker behind me. Um gave me a free bag of the Cavalot fruities and they've been absolutely obsessed with them ever since and they like carrots obviously but you have to cut them into the tiniest pieces because they cannot chew like whole carrots. Um but other than that they don't really get treats. Like if I do training I'll use their grass nuts which is from their feed so they don't get overfed and the fruities are for a special treat every now and then. In Palmer 13 I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing all your names wrong by the way I'm just kind of guessing reading it off my back. don't <laughs> um, what age did you have your first pony um, I actually didn't get my first horse like own horse till I was 15 14 15 I think and that was um, because I've shared my entire share pony my entire childhood since I was 11 I had my first share pony and <laughs> um, yeah, my parents aren't horsey, my family aren't horsey at all, so it's just basically been me at a riding school and I've been obsessed with them. I wasn't on my own horse to like, like commit and pay for it and then my back started getting bad at about 13 and I couldn't ride in other people's saddles, they were like killing me. Um, so yeah, that's when we, thanks Scotty, that's when we decided I'm ready for my own horse and um, looks back since. Annie Mac asked me, can you do a QA? and a Yes, I can. I'm sorry, that's two months late. One question, how old is Biscotti? This is Totty Wotty here, my little Biscotti pony. She's my firstborn child. She is one years old and I think she is March. She was born in March. So she is one year, four months. That's oh, right, it has to do some maths there. <laughs> yeah, so one year and four months and little whatever her name is, what's her name? Safa, sorry. Safi, she is two months younger than her, so she's one year and two months old, and that's why they get along so well, because she likes me to hold her foot, I don't know why, she doesn't like me to pick it up normally, but when I sit here, she just wants to put her foot on me, so this is what we do. Hey, This is what we do, we play. But when I bought Sapphire, I was very... Care Stop! I was very careful to make sure I buy one that's very close in age to Scotty because then they could play. So to have two babies is great because I've had them both since weanlings. I've had Scotty since she was five and a bit months old when she was first weaned. And she's always been pretty independent so she came pretty quickly after weaning. And that one I got when she was seven months old but she was like on death's door at that point. She'd been weaned when she was three months old which is absolutely insane. And that's where she's trying to kill me because she has no manners from not being with her mum long enough. So she has a few things that aren't fun. You're evil. Yeah, she's getting there. But she's super sweet out the stable, very easy compared to Scotty. But in the stable, she's just horrible because she spent so much of her life stuck in a stable with a stallion behind her. So she just kind of has a little bit... Oh no, Scotty likes to protect me from her. Um, yeah, so she has a few manners problems, unfortunately. But we're dealing with them. Bethy55 Boo asked me, what do you see you and your girls doing when they're older in terms of competing, training, etc.? I remember you mentioning in one of your videos that you, <laughs> you'd like to one day do liberty work with them both. Hi Beth, thank you so much for following me. She's been super sweet. Um, we chatted a few times now. Um, she made me some channel art too, which was really, really lovely. And um, yeah, like I said before, we'll do some liberty. I'm really hoping to drive the, um, Scotty and sh just stop. You're horrible, stop. Um, yeah, just drive her, show this one, take them both to show. But really what I actually bought them for, especially this one here, was to do therapy work with them. So 
Um, yeah, with my disability I've experienced a lot of mental health issues and being in hospitals a lot and so I just kind of get it and I just thought it would be really lovely to train a little mini to go to hospitals and help other kids or people in my situation and um, that's eventually what they'll do. At the moment they're too horrible to be near anyone. Scotty's super good, she's been inside, done a lot of training. Um, she's just not that keen on pe new people but I'm sure she'll grow she's getting better as she gets older but um, she's biting the hell out of Safi right now. Um, Safi's much sweeter with people but she bites faces if you kiss her. Like she won't bite you at all but if you put your face near her nose to give her a kiss she will snap your face off. This one you could do anything with and she's good as gold. But um, <laughs> as you can see she's super cute and she just wants you to hold her legs. Can I have your leg? Can I have your leg? But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I mean, yeah, so therapy work is our ultimate goal. Obviously lockdown has got in the way of that. So it's not been um, easy to do their training, but we're getting there. I try my best to get them out and we go to public parks and stuff so people can like get all over them and get them as trained up as possible to be with people, hey? Oh my God, I'm actually going to die. I think that's all the questions I've got so far. Um, I don't have, I've got Instagram so you can follow me on that if you want to talk to me a bit more and see what's going on behind the scenes of my videos in between them because um, I don't have a lot of social media accounts where you know how to contact me other than that I don't do Twitter so I'll leave that all down below so you can go follow me and see what's going on but um, thank you for those who did ask me questions I really appreciate it and I've got a lot more coming soon like something really exciting coming very soon and I'll film some more with these two and show you some more about what we do, hey? So say goodbye, devil children. Come here, bring your face here. And thank you for watching. Oh my God. <laughs>